Hey guys, it's Kugle again with another ROM review and this time I've got Tamasic's unofficial CM11 V30. Yes, it's now at its V30 and it's been a lot of changes from the previous version which I reviewed. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, what you will see here is the lock screen which is uh, same as whatever you would expect from a KitKat ROM. So pretty cool. Now we have a Google Experience Launcher pretty great let's go to settings now now uh, a friend of mine told me that he didn't want to see the about phone page first so I'll go to it last let's get into the features now now Tamasex ROM unofficial Tamasex unofficial CM11 has a lot of features but this is not purely a CM based ROM it takes elements from a lot of ROMs like Slim ROM, uh, Chameleon OS and uh, things like that and then it incorporates it into all of these so it works. So let's get into the uh, interface settings now. First of all we have lock screen setting. Lock screen setting is similar to what you would expect from ACM11 uh, ROM. So you do have 8 slider targets so that you can have 8 options in the lock screen target zone so you have to enable that as of now it's just uh, one so you can enable that and select what all eight targets you can have so that's pretty good uh, other options similar to whatever you expect let's move on you do have themes which it does accept all the science and more themes which is pretty cool um, I have noticed that a few other ROMs like Moki OS I have uh, worked out on a Moki OS it doesn't accept all the CM themes, CM 10.1 themes especially, so I'm not sure how we can use that, but I'm not sure, I'll think about it later. You do have dark UI, which is similar to slim, slim, real dark slim, so it changes the hollow interface into black and white interface, making the background all black. It works, it's pretty good. Tamasic spare parts. Now here is all the magic which happens. Now first of all we have status bar um, options. We have a few different battery icon styles. You have icon, you have percentage, you have circle with percentage, you have a lot of options. You can even change the circle animation speed. You can have uh, color, pretty cool features. You can change the percentage color, text charging color whatever you want it has a lot of options now again you have clock and date alignment options um, AM PM indicator uh, date indicator date style and date format so these are available in the ROM now something which I really like is double tap to sleep which you can enable and you can double tap the status bar to make the screen go off so that's a really great feature um, I can't stress it enough that how important it is to have a software screen off button because it will cut down on how much time you use the unlock button and the unlock button can wear out I have worn out my unlock button in my Galaxy A's and I, I really it's not very easy to replace so yeah I just wanted to uh, put it out there so these are the options in status bar now let's go to notification and QS drawer now QS drawer is actually something um, it's not the normal CM QS styles it is actually from slim ROM repository so you can see in the tiles and layout setting it's not the normal one you do have a few options here so you do have different options than you would expect from um, the CM style quick uh, setting tile. It does have uh, contacts and custom tile. Custom tile is something which I really like. You can enable custom options here and you can ha even have different steps. You can have one here, second here, then uh, first tab will enable you to go to an app here and then the second tab will give you access to this app. So you can have various stages like ring modes. So ring, uh, ringing modes, you can have that as a custom tile. So that's pretty cool. It also has an option to have a custom contact, which is pretty cool. If you um, call someone frequently, you don't want to get to a uh, the phone app to call someone. You can have this one beside the favorite one so you can have it here so you the contact will be here so you can access it from anywhere so that's pretty great uh, it also this this particular quick setting uh, implementation also has style option which does include uh, four or five 
tiles per row which is pretty cool i normally use four tiles per row you can have uh, scale landscape quantity it will double uh, when it the phone is in landscape so if you have selected four it'll be eight when the phone is in landscape mode so it is available there let's go to other features now omni omni features are also included so this one is a particularly awesome feature the contextual notification panel header if you enable this the well the it will enable lock screen for a brief moment and you can see the header is now a picture which it corresponds to the time of the uh, time in the phone so it will be uh, a scenery so it's pretty cool you can have that you also have the option to have all clear button in the recents menu right now it is here you can have it in any corner so that's pretty good what else do we have now lights and warning option so you can have low battery warning all of these options so you can even disable it if you want don't want it screen on notification light you can enable this and even with the screen on the notification light will go off in case of a notification arrival so you can have that that's pretty good um, screen and animation option is really something which I really appreciate on any ROM. You do have active display which is the Moto X feature. It gives off a um, background black uh, notification on the display apart from the notification LED. So it will be there whenever you take it out of pocket. And it also includes this option to turn off display when you put it in your pocket again. So yeah that's pretty good now CRT animation you have seen the CRT animation right so you can have different style of CRT animation you can have uh, horizontal vertical orientation de dependent scale down animation and fade animation the don't show option will give you fade animation so which is pretty cool let's get to let's show you guys the scale down animation. that was the scale down animation now uh, it does have custom system animations which is an AOKP feature you can change how each window will open up or close down or each um, sub window will open up so it it is up to you how you want it so that's pretty cool it also has list view animation you can have scale and uh, interpolate so it's this is one of my favorite ones so yeah you do have this option so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that um, now in general setting you do have a recent RAM bar you can enable recent RAM bar I do use application RAM bar so it will show you guys the amount of RAM used and amount of RAM free and as you can see here amount of RAM used is 307 megs and amount of RAM free is 525 megs that is a huge amount of RAM available for you guys to use on all your application and that is mainly the difference between a stock ROM and a um, AOSP based ROM because you will have a lot of RAM available for whatever you want whatever app specifically you want to have so that is a real great feature uh, so that completes the Tamasic spare parts and you do have navigation options also you can enable navigation bar which is this one which is pretty cool you can enable that you can change the icons here and uh, customize it uh, in whatever what way you want global menu is the power menu you can change the location of whatever uh, all of these you can change it you can enable certain features styles and uh, you can have all of them so I'm not going to get too much into that it's really simple you do also have halo which is a really awesome feature if you are messaging if you're multitasking for any multitasking feature halo is essential in my words so uh, you can have that it is halo 2.0 you do have ninja mode and uh, pretty cool features really great so yeah that is hit about the Masix ROM uh, let's get into about phone page you can see in the about phone page you can see it is Android 4.4.2 the Masix custom kernel it is v30 which is the latest one released on January 10th okay so yeah I guess that much is it uh, let me show you guys the Android benchmark score again benchmarks I guess it are now becoming mundane and irrelevant because all the scores are similar 18835 it's uh, between 18800s it's in the 18800s so I'm not sure if I would continue uh, showing you guys the end to the benchmark score because it's kind of becoming irrelevant 
So yeah, it does have whisper push, which is the secure messaging service from Cyanogen mod. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which well, it is pretty much the same as whatever um, the previous version. So so here is the boot animation for CM11 to Massex, an official one. So yeah, it's it's the Ring of Fire <laughs> boot animation. It's pretty minimal. It's really smooth. Pretty cool. So let me show you guys the camera app, which is actually a step in the right direction, I would say, because it does have a lot of options now. You can see it does have a settings menu, and in the setting more option, you can see it does have internal storage options. So you can save your photos to SD card with this camera. So that is something which I was uh, I was waiting for. So it does have that. It does have a lot of other options too, like focus mode. Uh, touch focus duration and the banding etc I'm not much of a photographic geek so I don't really know a lot of these stuff but they are good so it's pretty cool so I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye